fire. Air. Water. Earth. The world is changing. The sun now rises on a new age and a new avatar. Previously on Rise of Kiyoshi. Give him back. Now! He's worth more as a hostage than an avatar, trust me. But you, on the other hand, you're a puzzle. <laughs> Yun is down the hall. Kelsong is across from him. But you should rest. I would hate to see you get yourself hurt. Ugh. Why do they keep making me do this? They're being paranoid. You were frozen solid. They're just making sure you didn't get anything long-term out of it. <sighs> yeah. I guess the Avatar's pretty useless as a block of ice. Yun! Rangi! I... What happened? Is everyone okay? Is Kelsong okay? Master Kelsong is sleeping, so we should keep it down. Oh, right. So, what happened? How did you get out of Tagaka's ice trap? We lost a lot of guardsmen. Tagaka's hidden waterbenders dropped an avalanche on them. Rangi and Heiran managed to save as many as they could by burning through the iceberg after it thinned out. They freed me, and between us, we managed to knock Tagaka out. Losing their ships and seeing their leader beaten was too much for the rest of the Fifth Nation, so they fled. You should have seen it. Their injuries may heal, but their pride took a mortal blow. Where's Tagaka now? She's in the brig of an Earth Kingdom caravan headed for the capital. She's being taken to a prison at Lake Laogai. I don't know what they're going to do about the lake part if she can waterbend, but I guess the Earth King has a plan. In any case, the Fifth Nation is history. Their ships are damaged beyond repair. Tagaka said it herself. Her power lies in her fleet. After what you did, it'll be impossible for any successors to rebuild. They won't pose a threat to the Earth Kingdom anymore. What about the captives? Sifu Genju caught one of her lieutenants and interrogated their locations out of him. After that, Sifu Heron pulled a few strings, and now the Fire Nation is mounting a rescue operation as an act of goodwill. It'll be the first time they've been allowed to fly military colors in the Eastern Sea since the reign of the 22nd Earth King. Yun, you did it! You saved them! People will talk about this for years! Avatar Yun, who saved entire villages! Avatar Yun, who beat the Pirate Queen! Avatar <sighs> Yun... Kiyoshi, stop it, all right? Just stop it! Stop... what? Stop pretending like everything's the same. We know what you and Kelsong were hiding from us. <sighs> How could you keep that from us? Was it funny to you? Making us look like idiots? Knowing that there's a chance that all of our lives are a gigantic lie? I didn't... it wasn't... What was your angle, huh? Were you trying to discredit Yoon? Do you have some kind of twisted desire to see the world tear apart at the seams? Answer me, you... you... Ah! Rangi, wait! Rangi... Hey, did we wake you up? Come on, you need to rest. <sighs> I'm sorry, Kiyoshi. I had to tell them. Did you? What I said about Yun having the greatest chance of being the Avatar isn't true anymore. Not after what you accomplished on the iceberg. Did you really have to... You were asleep for three days, Kiyoshi. I thought you were dead. I thought that your spirit had left your body. 
There was no more pretending. Pretend? Like, those years we all spent were fake? You just mean that you couldn't wait any longer to make your move. You wanted to teach an avatar who depended on you more than Genju, and you lost your chance with Yun. That's what I am to you. A do-over! Kiyoshi! I... Uh, the time when any of us could have had what we wanted passed years ago. Mistress? Reen? Are you going down to the mess hall? Allow me to escort you. Uh, okay. Is the mistress finished? Reen, this is ridiculous. I went to your birthday. I chipped in for that comb you're wearing. Per Master Genji's orders, you are not to show up to work anymore. Speaking of which, he wants you by the training grounds in an hour. An hour? Wait, what am I supposed to do until then? Whatever the mistress wishes. This is so weird. Master Genji? Don't bother with that. Come with me. Welcome, Kyoshi. Thank you for humoring us. I know it's been a trying past couple days for you. I'll help in any way I can, Headmistress. Is there a reason it's so dry in here? <laughs> Sorry, that's my doing. I dried the air out in this room for an exercise. Please, sit. We performed this test on newborns in the Fire Nation to see if they're capable of firebending. As you can probably imagine, we have to know about firebending children quickly or else they risk burning down the neighborhood. So what do I have to do? Very little. This is made from shredded birch bark, cotton, and mixed with some special oils. You just need to breathe and feel your inner heat. If the tinder lights, you're a firebender. And the avatar. Are you sure this will work? We use this test on newborns, Kyoshi. It's impossible for a true firebender not to make some indication using this method. Now, I need to get a little closer to you. Relax and breathe. Don't put force into it. Use your natural fire and breathe. Hmm. It usually only takes newborns a few seconds at most under these conditions. I don't understand. Didn't Yoon already pass this test? <laughs> Kiyoshi? Kiyoshi? You in here? Yoon? There you are. What are you doing in here? Oh, uh, I'm just... Reading. Really? Because that's a guide on helping with pattern baldness. For men. Come to think of it, I might need that if I have to train with the air nomads. Or maybe you will. I'm sorry, Kiyoshi. I know you never meant for this to happen. Rangi doesn't. Rangi will come around. You know how she is. It's hard for someone like her to deal with uncertainty. You need to be a little patient with her. It's Sifu Genju that I'm worried about. Genju? I didn't realize it when I first met him, but deciding who should train the Avatar and how is a cutthroat business. You'd think masters of the world are these benevolent, selfless old men and women but it turns out that some of them just want to use the Avatar's power and reputation to profit themselves. It's really bad in the Earth Kingdom. We call the Elder Sages, but they're not true spiritual leaders like in the Fire Nation. They're more like politicians. But that's partly why Sifu and I have been working so hard. 
The more good we do for the Four Nations, the less chance that another sage tries to take me away from him. I don't think I could handle having a different master. They would never be as wise or as dedicated as Sifu. What would happen to the work you've done if... Uh, I think nearly every treaty and peace agreement we brokered would become null and void. I've made a lot of unwritten judgments, too. If people found out I was just some street urchin from Makapu and not the Avatar, they would never abide by the outcome. <sighs> Great. Hmm, that smell. Are those... fire lilies? <laughs> Stop it. That's right. The Ember Island tourism minister brought a bunch when he visited two weeks ago. I guess nothing goes to waste in this house. <laughs> Knock it off! Knock what off? I'm just talking about a smell I've come to like. Reminds me of what could have been. <laughs> There's that beautiful smile. Kiyoshi, trust me when I say this. If it turns out not to be me, I'll be happy it's you. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> Wait, that's right! We're late! I was supposed to find you and bring you to Sifu. He said he had something fun planned for us this afternoon. What? I can't go. I have to... Work? No offense, Kiyoshi, but I think you've pretty much been fired. Now, come on! 